I did my best to stand up uh, despite being wounded, and it was tough, but I knew I had to help carry First Sergeant Sapp because if I didn't, then other people would surely get injured too. So we kept carrying him to the back of the Bradley, got him inside, and we all loaded up. Uh, the medic had looked at me and, and tried to do first aid, but I waved him off because I knew First Sergeant Sapp was worse off. But once First Sergeant Sapp and Captain Stainbrook were loaded off the Bradleys, I had to yell out to the other medics, hey, I'm hit too. As I was being carried to the, the medevac helicopter and I uh, looked over, Sergeant Newland was standing there outside the field hospital. And I could see in his eyes, I knew he was really determined to do exactly what he had to do, take his guys out there and find the guys who shot us. Uh, to be there with First Sergeant Sapp, to see him recovering from his injuries um, and going you know, from a far cry of being totally incapacitated, not able to move, to now regaining his life, getting things back, uh, was, was just great to know that everybody had uh, the next chapter of their life that they could look forward to. And when I heard I was going to be awarded the Distinguished Service Cross, I sort of looked at it in a different way that it wasn't so much what I did in Iraq as much as it's um, a representation of what everybody did for my unit. It's something that I wear for everybody else. Sergeant Newland displayed each of the Army values. Um, he had loyalty to his comrades. Uh, he displayed duty by never falling short of getting his guys off the battlefield. He also showed respect. He showed respect for his chain of command and for what they stood for. He displayed selfless service by always putting the welfare of his men before himself. He also displayed integrity by making the right decisions. Extraordinary personal courage on the battlefield that day. Uh, if not for his actions, uh, we probably would have had four uh, Americans killed in action that day. He personally was there evacuating his comrades. And so the honor that he displayed on the battlefield, that's exactly what attributed to uh, his receipt of the uh, Silver Star. Uh, it's easy to live the Army values when you've got people that surround you, that live those every day, that do extraordinary things in combat. I think honor really encompasses every Army value, uh, if you think about it. And to truly have honor, I think, is to have faith in, in your people, in your country, in your cause, um, and to be willing to see that through all the way to the end.